Now just one week from the first presidential debate of this election year. President Biden will soon be heading for Camp David, where he's expected to do much of his preparation. Both he and former President Trump working with their top advisors to prepare for anything and everything their opponent might throw at them. According to the latest Reuters poll, about 20 percent of voters say they either have not picked a candidate, they are leaning toward a third party option, or they just might not vote at all. News Nation's Kelly Meyer joins us live from the White House. So, Kelly, the debate stage is officially set for two, and it looks like Robert F. Kennedy Jr. did not make the cut. Yeah, Nicole, and that's the big news today and a blow to RFK Jr.'s campaign. He was promising that he was going to get on that debate stage, and now the stage is set, as you said. It's going to be former President Trump and President Biden that will be there one week from tonight. For viewers at home, it's almost going to be a rerun of the 2020 debate with those same two candidates on stage. And despite his efforts, RFK Jr. will not be there. The independent candidate has been crisscrossing the country trying to get on the ballot in many states, saying that he has gotten on the ballot in some of those states as an independent candidate. But we just got this statement in to News Nation from the, the RFK Jr. campaign telling us today, quote, we will not stop advocating for America's desire to have him on the debate stage. We will make that point all the way until the very end and hope that all entities, the Trump campaign and Biden campaign and CNN, will recognize this is an FEC violation, he says. You have to be fair and give everyone the same opportunities. Robert Kennedy Jr. right now is the only candidate that is eligible for 270 votes. Now, CNN is the host of the debate and said while he is working to get on the ballot in those states, it does not mean that he is officially on the ballot. Those are two different things. They also insist that RFK Jr. did not meet the qualifications to get on that stage, including reaching the polling criteria needed. So meanwhile, we're watching how President Biden and former President Trump are getting ready for next week's debate. President Biden, we know later today, will be heading to Camp David uh, to go on this retreat with his closest advisors, huddle up and get ready for the debate. Um, and for Trump, publicly, his campaign has said that he is not doing debate prep, but behind the scenes, they are doing some meetings and policy prep to get him ready. Take the right side of the podium. So on your screen, when you're watching next week, you'll see Biden on the right, Trump on the left, and then Trump selected to give the closing statement. So you will hear the last word from the former president next week. All right. Cool. So, Kelly, the, the former president will get the last word. We know right now he is he is also prepping, and it's with some of the same people who are said to be on his short list for vice president. Although, of course, who knows what will ultimately happen. But, but what can you tell us? Yeah, exactly. But we are hearing that over the last several weeks, he's been meeting with and huddling with some of these uh, his closest allies, and some of them happen to be potential hopefuls for VP. We're seeing Ohio Senator J.D. Vance uh, meeting with him uh, recently at Mar-a-Lago, talking about the economy. Also, Florida Senator Marco Rubio meeting with Trump when he was in Washington, D.C., huddling with him on some policy issues. So he's really picking the brains of those closest around him, and they do happen to be some of those potential VP picks. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see where it lands uh, at the end of the day, but we aren't likely to hear his official VP pick until the RNC now a couple